So this is NECO Chemistry 2022 speed solution please speed when i say speed you know what i mean so i have 45 minutes to run the 60 question not a concept uh, video class but just a solution class we start with the first question the national body responsible for setting food standard and regulation is NAVDAC. as we all know NAVDAC is national agency for food drug administration and control next question the crystal layers of graphite are held together. I think I've done carbon and its compounds. That is under my channel. So we talk about layers of graphite. They are held by Van der Waals. Talk about that as well. I don't think that one should be a problem for us. The general gas equation can be expressed as everybody knows P1 V1 over T1 equals to P2 V2 over T2. So in this question, Examiner decided to check your level of understanding by cross multiplication. So when you cross multiply, you can see it will be, I am cross multiplying now. So it will be P1V1 and T2 is equals to P2V2 and T1, as you can see. So on this value is option A. So I hope you get that. The next question will be in the next page. Question four, calculation, I guess. And these are what I'm running away from. Calculate the number of moles of calcium chloride that can be obtained from 15 grams of um, CaCO3 in the presence of uh, SX hydroperate. So this is just one of the methods of preparing CO2, which we've also talked about on the channel. So we can just go by we are looking for the moles of CAC, CaCO2 from CaCO3. Look at the moles. So you're going to say one mole of uh, CaCO3. There are numerous methods you can use. Yield one mole of uh, CaCl2. So, on simplification, you can just do that number of moles is mass over molar mass. So, 15 grams of CaCl3. So, you can calculate the number of mole of CaCl3. Number of mole is mass of substance over molar mass. Mass was given as 15. Molar mass of CaCl3. I hope students can do CaCl3 molar mass. I think it should be 140 plus uh, 12. That is 52. 52 plus 48 is 100. I am sorry, I have to do it like this. 0.15 moles. So if this guy requires 0.15 moles, this guy will also require 0.15 moles by symmetry, right? So if we go by that, by symmetry, we can conclude and say that uh, the number of moles of this guy too, I'm not solving question for you guys to... I believe you have you have pre knowledge of all these things. The mass we are looking for what? Okay, we are looking for the number of moles. So I don't need to do anything. So far they have one one mole. So the number of moles of this guy is same thing as the number of moles of this one. Because one mole of this require one mole. So you don't even need to. So I thought I'm looking for mass. So that is the answer to that. The next one. This is a gas occupied this centimeter cube. Calculate the volume in C and when the pressure is up and the that's come. When temperature is constant, we have talked about standard property of uh, thermodynamic. When temperature is constant, you think about Boyce's law. Boyce's law says that what pressure inversely proportional to volume. P1, V1 equals to P2, V2. So if you go by the U that you like solving, it is not a problem. But me, I don't like solving. I like fast way. So if, if the initial volume is 200, and uh, the pressure is half. So when pressure is half, that means because it will now be double of this one, it will now be 200 times two, that is 400. But you want to prove it. Initial pressure I take as X, then uh, I don't want to be using something that you cannot see. The first volume I take as 200. The pressure is half, that is X over two times, I'm looking for V2. From here, x gets cancelled out and see cross multiply 200 times 2. It is for you that I want to solve. So, for those that are doubting what I said, actually, anybody can make mistake. So, that is why I always ask students to comment if there is any error. But I don't think there is error. There will be error, but there should be. You can note that. What is the IUPAC name of this guy? The IUPAC name of this guy, I told you when you have uh, a mine and um, Carboxylic group is called amino. So functional group, priority order. So going by priority order, nothing to solve. One, this is 
priority order one please two and this is three so if we go by that this is the way it's been the one two three so it's simple we call it what i'm mining now so you have a uh, one one this is one amino one amino no no no, no. this is two carbon is ethanoic not methanoic so methanoic is out so one amino methanoic ethanoic acid one two three now we have amino methanoic acid so it should be one amino methanoic acid option two is correct my writing part is doing rubbish now I just hope this does not slow me down the next question let's just increase the pace i am sorry i have to do that so the next one says the following are precautions taken when using a burette i hope you guys know burette very well consistent burette reading making sure the burette is not leaking except that means you are looking for the one that does not work so that one work make sure the burette is not leaking sure be consistent with your reading sure this is english readings are taken at high level sure as in you don't take it above your eye or below your eye <laughs> then the bullet reading is in with acid this is not correct how will you read this bullet you read bullet with water so this is the answer to the question water gas consists of carbon and compound we've done it when what when steam is what heated with what red hot coke or white hot coke carbon monoxide and hydrogen answer i hope you understand what i'm doing we don't have the time or the day to to be doing uh dramatizing and telling you which of the following is non-transitional property of zinc now zinc is a transition metal but zinc does not form colored ion catalytic zinc is used as catalyst very well you know it does not form colored ion is the answer to this these are simple simple things completely free yeah zinc is number 30 d orbital is true formation of complex ion very well variable oxidation state you and i know that characteristics of transition metal so b is correct for that so let's move the following products, the following are product of crude oil except should I write on it? Yes, 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 yes. Now, as far as bitumen, bitumen is there, then diesel is there, kerosene is there, but ethanol is not there. Fractional distillation of crude oil. Topic you talk about in your what the beginning of your introduction to carbon and its compound. The least reactive metal is that you know the this is memory based, K N A C A M G A L Z N. So you go like that. If you go like this, you can say H G. Mercury will be towards the line, you know, Mercury, silver, gold. You know that H, G, H, A, U. So Mercury is down, down, down. So this is the least reactive. No time to be showing you guys too much of stuff. Admin is here watching me this time around. Admin is not even giving me English. So let's see this one too. So we move. The next question here is, uh, what? I don't know why I'm picking a yellow. Maybe I like a yellow. Hydrogen sulfide and the water are hydride. Yes. Because they contain hydrogen. S block of group six. Now, group six, you know, group six elements. Group six is your OC table. OC table. You can always, what I don't want to teach anything here. I just want to pick an answer. I'll tell you what. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, terrarium, and pre. That's group six. Watch my concept video. Group six elements will soon be uploaded. Don't worry, you'll get to see them. And how they react what happened to it at room temperature hydrogen sulfide hydrogen exists hydrogen sulfide exists as a gas yes and water is what is a liquid the reason is because of medicine now i do tell that is metallic character increases as you go down the group we've talked about that that time and time again so now another thing you have to know is because of the type of bond that exists between hydrogen and oxygen yeah talked about that elementary class Hydrogen and oxygen exist what we call what a kind of what hydrogen hydrogen bond. So the hydrogen bond that is responsible for them makes it to be what liquid at room temperature, and that is the reason why that is the reason. So let's talk that. The next one is the all of ion. Uh, I think this is also memory-based question. Amatite, magnetite, and everybody knows here. Canalite is a uh, canalite is formed from. Let me see. I've done that under halogen and compound, canalite. Canalite is a, it's like a component of C. Yes, C, C, C. The amount of what, you know, chlorine can be seen in it. So fluorine can be seen in it. It's a mixture of magnesium chloride and uh, sodium chloride. Magnesium chloride or sodium chloride with a six molecule of water, MgCl2, NaCl, but 6H2O. 
Acetylite is SNO2, Pyrolite is Na3, ALF6. I've talked about this. All these things are there on my halogen and compound. So this magnetite is the answer. We don't need to waste that. But this is the answer. So memory based question. I think Neko actually wants you guys to have a one. We actually do them very well. Calculation next. So calculator might be needed. I mean, please be at a lot. Calculate number of moles of ion in 168 gram of ion. Calculate the number of moles of ion in 168 gram of ion. Mass of ion. Number of moles is mass given. 68 divided by molar mass of ion. 56. So that is that. 168 divided by 56 is what admin will tell me. If I need a calculator. 168 divided by 168. Admin is writing 68. Admin is using this thing here. Divided by 56. So we are having 3 moles. So 3. So it's what I can do even with my name. It's just because I'm tired of it. To press any time. The next stop is uh, 400, 400 centimeter cube of a gas. As it's diffusing through a porous block in two minutes. That's a calculator. Calculate the rate. Calculate the rate in centimeter. Rate equals to volume over time. So that is what you need to do. Just, well, you will need to convert something there because I'm seeing something in seconds. That's the only thing I'm seeing there. Volume here is uh, 400 time you mean second 60 minutes at 60 times 2 120. So, as mean we just step us divide 400. We can cut it and self. 12 times 3 is 36. 3.33 repeating, I guess. So, 3.33 repeating. So, that will make option A valid. Admin, I mean, I think I am, I, am, I am going to walk. Even before your time that you gave me today for the first time, because the rate I teach I'm going, I don't think I'm going to have any issue. Which of the following, which of the following polymer is thermoset? Watch my polymerization video on my chemistry page on this particular page. So if you are new, you can consider subscribing. So here we've talked about this. We said there are thermoset and thermoplastic. So example of thermoset is a bakelite. 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 So this is the answer to this question. Nothing to solve, to be honest. The next one says the position of an element in the periodic table is determined by periodic table science theta teacher method. I do tell you, position of element periodic table is depends on what Mendeleev law. Atomic number. Atomic number is called number of proton. So I need the number of neutron, atomic number, that is periodic law. Answer is D, the number of proton in the atom. The next says during electrolysis. What takes place at the anode? Everybody know oil rig, basic classes. Oxidation takes place at the PAHOC. This is what I always call PAHOC NCR. Positive anode PAHO. Oxidation. Oxidation takes place at the anode. Reduction takes place at the cathode. So we are being asked what takes place at the anode. Everybody should know that oxidation takes place at the anode. The next one says, uh, an example of matter that has neither a definite volume nor a shape is R. This is kind of uh, technical. Let us look at this together. So it has no volume or shape. It cannot be a metal or a compound. That thing is not a compound or a metal. So it can never be water. It cannot have a thing because this one will have a shape. Then it can never be mercury. You can see the way. Actually, this is the first time I'm seeing this type of question. So I know it can be a metal or a compound. So it can be, I'm, go, I'm not having steam and uh, ice. Those are the two things now. So the answer is between steam and ice. Then how am I going to think now? Yeah, I'll go for ice. The reason is because ice has no volume, no definite volume. Yes, I've talked about this under the introduction to chemistry. How did I know? Because those are the questions I always ask my students to ask me. How did I know ice has no definite volume or shape? Because ice can melt. When ice melts, you know, and ice can also, what it can change. There is a change. Of state change of state can actually come when ice melts. The volume of ice is what irregular. There's no particular volume. It has no definite volume. So I think so. Answer to this one is uh, ice and steam. Definitely should have a particular volume because steam is like water that is in form of gas. You get so this not that. Now the next one says uh, nitrogen and its compound. I guess because I see packet food. Nitrogen is used to do that. So nitrogen is used to prevent. Uh, Rancid, rancidity, rancidity means spoiled or smelling one kind of odor that doesn't make sense. The next one, the next question, I hope I am not cutting. No. I just swear I'm not cutting. So the next question says, uh, 
in a neutral atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of atoms. Number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Everybody knows. Elementary under your physical chemistry. So that's correct. Hydrogen is used in the following process, except one of the most used of hydrogen is in the preparation of ammonia. A bar process. You remember? Conversion of coal to yes, hydrogen converts coal to petrol. Hydrogen cannot be used for extinguishing fire. What we use to extinguish fire is carbon monoxide or some other gases of helium and stuff like that. Manufacturing of ammonia is correct. Manufacturing of margarine in the presence of nickel. Synthesis of synthesis means making of HCl. Hydrogen plus chlorine will give you HCl. Next question, I want to press calculator. So answer to that one is this. B is correct. The next question says, uh, I think I have three pages. If you're giving mass of gas, please admit, please, please calculate your place. You have to press for me. Given mass of gas at 28 degrees Celsius, occupy the volume of this. What is the volume is when like the of the gas at STP when the pressure is constant? Pressure is constant. Tesla. D1 over T1 equals to D2 by T2. The first volume is 76. I will convert 28 to 73 plus uh, 28. Is that not 311? 273 plus. Please listen and see what I'm writing to. They don't press to reach. 273 plus 28 should be 311. I think I'm right. So that is this. It's now equals to we are looking for the new volume when it is at standard temperature. Standard temperature is 273. So V2, when you cross multiply from this guy, it will be 76 times 273. You are now dividing your answer by 311. 76 times 273. You are dividing your answer by 311. So that should be the answer to that. So 6.0. I'm having 66, according to all my admins, 66.71, and I don't have any answer as 66.71 yet. Two seven. I'm pressing calculator. I don't have time to bring in screen calculator. 273 plus 28. Is this 311 or 301? This is 301. That is where the issue comes from. So it is divided by 301. So that's... Uh, 76 times uh, 273 divided by 3. These are things I always wait for. 58.9. 58.9. So this guy is correct. So we have your calculator back. The next one is uh, we have volume against temperature is just low. You know that. We just talked about that. Nothing to solve for. The next one is uh, on this side, the measure of average kinetic energy of gas is what? Temperature is defined. Memory based question. That is why I like NECO. NECO don't disturb you or waste your time on anything. This is base. This is acid. So acid combined with base to give salt and water. This is what the ionic equation and that is called neutralization. Acid and base. Memory page. Now the quality of pe petrol as NG fuels improve with the increase in the amount of it should be increase of our uh, engine for it should be increase of branch chains arcanes. Most of the arcanes are used as uh, most of the arcanes are used as uh, foils. You know that arcanes are used as well, hundred percent. So please don't go for straight straight chain because uh, we are told from junior classes that straight chain arcanes are uh, easily got. They easily get to what get to knock. They cause knocking. Do you still remember something like that? So the answer to this is this is a memory based question as well. The next one is uh, which of the following compound we form a solution when exposed to it. That is uh the liquids. The liquids. So these ones are in fluorescence. So now you have uh this is a uh, this is a drying agent. So you are looking for the liquids that we form what solution when exposed. This is a uh, CUSO4. Any NO3 is hygroscopic. Now it's between this one. So CaCl2 is the liquid, and that is why it is mostly used as drying agents. You know, this one we, we actually combine with water. And when it's combined with water, you know 
this one that chlorine and its compound, chlorine allogen and its compound too. Calcium chloride can naturally combine with water of the blood. And you know what it's going to be. You can just watch the concept video. So the next one, I'm getting tired of all these calculations. This says 200 centimeter cube of a certain gas with weighs 0.5 gram at STP. Calculate the molar mass of that volume. I do tell student memory based question, uh, formula based questions are also very simple. Formula based question, memory based question, those are things we pay for in the exam. Number of mole equals to volume given over 22.4 decimeter cube. Volume given is 200, 200, 200. So they said 200 centimeter cube of the gas. You want to get the molar mass. So volume is uh, 200 centimeter cube. And this one is 22.4 decimeter cube. So I have to convert it to to centimeter. That's 22,400. I also didn't know what I did. I just multiplied 22.4 times 1,000. This double zero gets cancelled. It's just saying 2 divided by 2 divided by 224. 2 divided by 224 is what I made. That means that's pretty good. So that should be faster. 224. Wow. I don't like this calculator. 2 divided by 224 is the I think I mean we have me with his own uh, this thing, but I don't like what this one is giving. Two divided by two to four is having zero point zero zero eight nine two, something like that. I just write it as one over one one two moles. Two divided by two to four. Is that what I have? Yeah, I think thank you. Now then the question did not ask me for number of mole, but molar mass. You also record that number of mole is mass over molar molar mass. So the number of moles is, I'll use 1 over 1, because I don't like that. Mass, I think the mass is 0 0.5 over molar mass. What will I do? Cross multiply molar mass times 1 is molar mass. So it's just like saying 112 times 2. 112 divided by 2. 112 times 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is 1 over 2. Half of 112 is 56. Am I right? So that should be the answer to this guy. The next guy is 56. Look at that. So it's just an approved way of solving some question. The next one says, which of the following arcane is likely to cause knocking? I just talk about it as if I know they will ask. That's the one that has what a straight chain. The one that has what most of the straight chain arcane has a tendency to cause what to cause knocking. So uh, which one is more of a straight chain? You can start drawing them out. So anyone that has a branch should not form what? The one that has the least number of what? Branch chain will form what? Knocking easily. So let's check. This has two and two. You can see metal, metal, and branch chain. That is four branch chain. It's not possible. This one has five, five branch chain. It's not going to cause any knock. This one has a two branch chain here. C, then C, H, T, D. This one has a, this one has a two branch chain. I also see. So it's by drawing that we know. Let's see the number of carbon atom. One, this is two branches, so it can be this one. This one has two branches. This is a straight chain hydrocarbon. This is a branch, so this is the answer. This is more of a straight chain. The one that has a straight chain hydrocarbon will have the tendency to form knocking. I told you. So this is the longest straight chain that you have in this list of elements. That is my way of getting the answer. A method that is used as an electrode during electrolysis is platinum electrode. You know that. You can't use gold, these are noble metal, you can't use manganese. You can't use this. We use a platinum electrode. You guys know very well. Platinum electrode with carbon is called enact electrode. Remember that? Very good. The next says the next question says uh at meal I'm still on time because you know the time I started. Yes, I have 45 minutes to solve this. Calculate the number of atoms present in 12 grams of carbon. If this have number of Atom number of moles is also equals to number of atoms or the numbers of particles over AC. AC is a uh, Avogadro's constant at six times ten raised to power twenty three. So number of uh, you need to get the number of moles first. Then let's use number of moles. Let's come back. It's mass over molar mass. Mass is twelve of carbon. Molar mass of carbon. If I'm not mistaken, molar mass of carbon, carbon is also 12. 
And obviously, I know that carbon is 12, C is 12. Even though this examiner did not put it, carbon is 12, molar mass of carbon is 12. So 12 by 12 is 1. So 1 is equals to number of carbon over 6.02 times 10 to power 23. So the answer is what? 6.02 times 10 to 23. So that's the answer, guys. So six points. Okay, they say we should use that six six following the line of question six times so it should be six times ten to power twenty three. I hope you get what I'm doing. These are simple elementary stuff, but it is not elementary if you don't know them. That is why we are trying to provide solution. The poisonous gas emitted from a generator is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is this also written as carbon two. You, you can see that it is just memory based question. Or you have to explain anything. No. Calculate the oxidation number of our sulfur in this guy. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus sulfur is 2x, 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 is 0. Oxidation number and not coordination. 2 minus 12, 2x minus 10 is 0. 2s is 10, x is 5. You can see, as I say, you need to watch all our videos to have what a good knowledge of all this stuff. You can see the way we are doing them because they are kind of very simple. So the poor oxide gas is passed into a solution of ion 3. It was Fe3 plus. You understand? Ion 3 tetras of acid FeS24. The reaction mixture turns dash it rewards. This guy will act as a reducing agent. SO2 can act as both oxidizing agent and as also what a reducing agent. So when it reduces it, it changes from ion 3 to ion 2. Ion 3 is brown. Ion 2 is green. Memory based question. So you can see nothing to solve. It's just an applied way to solve all these things. So I'm not so doing something that is big or that is a big thing. It's what you guys can even do better. It will be a basic thing if you have followed our crash course and our full course program. These are simple, simple things. The next one says in the production of sugar, impurities can be removed by sugar impurities, crystallization of sugar. Impurities of sugar. This is memory based, but in fact, a lot of our practice questions we've done that. The next one is a uh, question on um, this says uh, if the pressure of air, I think I need a calculator here, if the pressure of air in a ball of volume 70 mkb is, uh, I can't see, is it 11 atmosphere? It's 11 atmosphere. What is the volume in dmkb in one atmosphere? V1. V1 equals to V2. V2. So P1 is a 7 times 11 is equals to 77. P2 times, okay, 1 times P2 is what you can do. 1 times P2. So 7 times 11 is 77 is equals to P2. So that's the, that's just voice law in this guy stuff. Okay, the percentage of oxygen in sulfur 4 oxide. The thing is, you can see what I do talk about. Sulfur 4 oxide is SO2. 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 We are looking for percentage of oxygen. Oxygen is 16 times 2. 16 times 2 is 32. Over the whole thing here is 64 times 100. That is half. That's 50%. You can see 32 year 1, 32 year 2. So 100 over 2 is 50%. See, the next one says the oxidation number of copper increases from zero in copper solid to dash in. This is called copper. Copper, a free state element, has zero. CuS is called copper two ionic equation. Cu two plus SO four two minus copper two tetrahedral surface six. So it has increased from what zero. Oxidation number of this one is what is two. So it has increased from what zero to what plus two. That's it. The next question. Next question is uh wow. Next question is calculate the pressure of 0 0.5 moles of oxygen gas, which occupy occupying a volume of 2.50 dmk at this degree size. So you can see this guy is in Kelvin. This guy is in Kelvin. So if it is in Kelvin, you have to convert something again to Kelvin. So this will be 300. I did get the equation PV equals to an NLT. 
ID gas equation. What are we looking for? Pressure. So we can say P equals to NRT divided by volume. So let's substitute parameter formula for this question. 0 0.5, 0 0.0, H20. Temperature is 300. We are dividing everything by 12.50. So that's the work of our name. Then I'm waiting for the answer. Then I'll move to the next one. So that will be the answer to this question. So the next one. He said 40. Is it 49? Should I don't have 49 point two? I'm having 4.9. Maybe that calculator and depress again. I'm having 4.9 to have left. No, it's 4.92. Because that's the closest. So let's see. 0 0.5 times 0 0.0 H20 times 300. Divided by two point five four point nine. Normally, if I'm in the example, I won't do anything again. So, if I know maybe I've misplaced one zero or, or something like that, so that's the answer. They are very simple. The only technical thing about NECO question I just learned is because they have the option up to up to E. You know what I mean by E? That is, uh, you have A, B, C, D, and E. Anything apart from that is the constituent of stainless steel. Stainless steel is nickel carbon and chromium. Those are the major elements. Nickel, carbon, and iron. So it's contained nature of chromium. Wow. So so the answer to this apologies, I think there was a break in the transmission there. Should be nickel, this and this. So the next one says spherical clusters form when soap molecules dissolve in waters are called now, this is on their surface chemistry, and they, they are called missiles. This is the answer to that. I know most of you are seeing this for the first time. So this is the only question I saw in Echo that was technical, to be honest. This is the only one. And if you are so good, you know it is not all these other options, even though you don't even know what missiles are called. Which of the following support combustion? The one that can be added to oxygen. You know very well. Which of the following support combustion? Definitely. S-block. Both of the S block we support oxygen, but this one born vigorously with air uh, with oxygen is an exothermic reaction, even when it's uh, it is dry room. So that is why we are going with it. It can't be all this one. Hydrogen combined with oxygen, you know, combustion reaction. So this is not a problem, I guess. Good. Now, the next one says the elements that react exclusively with water, you can see S block. We've talked about this under X block element of our periodic table. And that is sodium. So out of all this sodium, you know, hydrogen can actually move from one to another. So then you know what I mean? 13 to 18 is the P block. I know the answer. So sodium reacts vigorously with water, but with a lot of heat. Heat, vigorous heat. Now the next one is uh empirical formula of this compound with relative molecular is C. Calculate the molecular formula. I think that's just a revision of what you have also studied in your, you know, schools or tutorials in class. This is just CH multiplied by N is 78, so that it won't look as if we don't work. 12 plus 1, that's 13, N is 78. So N will be equals to 78 over 13, I think it's 6. So if it is 6, that is 6, 6, H6. And that is benzene, aromatic. It's not an anti-aromatic, but aromatic compound. Hope you understand. C, C, H, C, benzene, amine. Next one. Is this the last one? I don't think so. Next one say, when chlorine, we still have more. When chlorine reacts with water, the product form is chlorine and its compound. Hyperhalic and oxochlorate. It's, this was done in my... What's it called? Uh, what's it called? The halogen and interval compound salt. I don't know if this one is clear enough. Plus nascent oxygen. Nascent oxygen combined to give you. All these are what you've done. So, Chlorine dissolving water to give you oxychloric acid. So note that. 
So this guy is hypochlorous one. It's also called hypochlorous acid. I hope you still remember. The next one is uh, alkanos have high boiling point relative to its molar mass because we have alkan hydrogen hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds. Memory based question. Alkaline metal exhibits similar similar chemical properties because that is a diagonal relationship or what is a valence electron. Alkaline metals are just group one element. They have the same valence electron. They are salt and soluble, they are very active. They form, they have the same number of valence electron. Abi, you remember? So that is, you can see, before we even check it, we already know what the answer will be. The last one for this page is uh, the element with electronic component, just count the power. 2 plus 2 is 4, 10, 12, 18, 20. Number 20 is calcium. Everybody knows. That is that. Next one, we are almost there. When acid is dissolved in water to give ozonium, hydronium ion, water function as dash. Then acid dissolving in water. See, let me teach you something. Am I on the right? So acid dissolving in water. I'm using the example of acid to give you H3O plus. So the thing is, there's all called conjugate acid and conjugate base. When you add H plus to an acid, it is called what conjugate acid, and when you remove proton, it's called the conjugate base. Here, yeah, proton was added. It's called an acid. So now in this case, we say acid. This is acid. This is the what? This is like uh, this is the conjugate. This is a proton. So, and according to definition, we don't need to waste our time on simple stuff. Uh, acid is defined as, uh, according to Mr. Lowy, proton donor. Acid is called a proton donor. Whereas a base is called a what? Proton acceptor. You can see that this guy, we add producing to it. We add H plus to it to give us this. So this is called a conjugate acid. And this is called a conjugate as we are going base. So that means water is acting like a conjugate base. What is the definition of this? Base is what? Proton acid. Do you get? That's just that. That's just the only question that is making sense. The next one says when data H of a reaction is negative, memory based question. Exothermic reaction. Positive endothermic reaction. So I don't think you guys should not get everything there. Uh, maybe maximum of two or three due to error. Anybody can make error. What is the activation energy in kilojoule of the reaction above? This is the activation. This is the activated compost. This is the activation energy. The minimum energy for reaction to take place from year to year. So you just have to subtract 350 minus, what's this one? 200, 200, 350. So just do 350 minus 200. And that is a 150. So this is the answer. The last one, oh, not the last one, I think it's even one page. Which of the following element has the, has the what? Highest ionization energy, ionization energy, increases across the period you know that so it is like this we increase like this across the period and like this in terms of the group so that is the increase so look at the one that I asked now if we move like this we just look at their period to know the answer it's very simple and if we don't know how to arrange you we know it's hydrogen helium let me teach you these are basic questions so don't let me go explaining in what and say lithium beryllium you know boron carbon nitrogen Oxygen, fluorine, chlorine. Then you have uh, sodium, magnesium. Then what am I trying to say? You can see as you are going down the group, it is decreasing. Now, so anyone that is down, 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 because I have higher molecular mass in the group. So let's look at group and compare. Which one is that? Now, between sodium and uh, sodium and this, because sodium is down, then potassium is uh, the next one here. So what I'm saying is that what? The one of sodium will be more than that of this. But look at this now. If we go to this guy, 
you have beryllium and calcium. Calcium, but this one will be more than this. So I'm canceling the higher, higher one. I'm canceling this one. Well, following the trend, I'm also canceling this one. So now I'm left with sodium, which is here, and uh, magnesium, which is here. Now I told you when you grow, go here. So magnesium will be greater than sodium because as you grow across the period, and naturally increases. So this is a uh, sodium is also cancer out. Then I have beryllium. Now this is another very good question. So now we can see this particular. So it remains this true. Magnesium and beryllium. So magnesium and beryllium. And then I told you as you are going up, and as you are also increase. Now anomalous behavior of beryllium also. We can also talk about uh, this as well. Beryllium and magnesium also show the same diagonal relationship. But you are just ordinary level students, so we don't need to talk too much. So the answer will be beryllium. And the reason is because up you go, you expect more organization. So that's the answer. Last page. I hope I'll, I'll, I'm able to meet the 45 minute tag. Yes, I should be. An example of displacement reaction in the following equation is displacement. So you look at their activities in lead and so forth. This is a. Uh, Potassium and hydrogen. So hydrogen and zinc and copper. This is the answer. Zinc displaces copper. So one of the something will be what reduced. So C is displacement reaction. We've talked about that many, many times. You can see zinc displaces copper from its solution to bring out what copper, copper salt, or copper metal, whatever you call it. So an example of a substance which increases in mass when heated in air is under rate of chemical reaction. Magnesium ribbon. Magnesium ribbon is correct. That's the answer to that one. Memory based question. We've done all these things, and because time is not on my side, the last one, or second to the last, penultimate question for this which of the following product is liberated right then at the top of the fractionating column? Don't need fractional separation techniques. I, maybe I do video, and I think it's a simple subject. When you are doing fractional distillation, I think uh, it is like, like this. The gaseous substance will be up. It is just like, you know, it is in three column. Gas will be upstairs, that simple stuff. Then followed by liquid, it is just about the mobility. Then followed by the solid. So that is the way they are being what separated. So out of all this one, which one is a gas? So you know one that is a gas is so propane is a gas. You know that. So and that would be the this guy is loading for the first time the answer to the question. So others are liquid. And so the one that will be on top, that's what they ask. So which of these is a gas? I go for that. The last question, I guess, is this the last question I mean? Yes. This should be the last question. Aluminium is preferred to copper in overhead power cable because that is all agent conduct here. All these things are science teacher way. Aluminium is preferred because it's a good conductor. And that is the answer to this question. So that is just the 60 question in less than 45 minutes or 45 minutes to say. So guys, just make sure you can watch to do correction. If there's any error, you can let me know down in the comment section. I'll see you guys soon. In my future video, consider subscribing to this channel to see more from Multi Academy. Thank you and God bless.